Hello everybody, welcome to First Second Sketch School. I'm the author and illustrator of Marshmallow and Jordan. Marshmallow and Jordan is a middle grade graphic novel about a special friendship between a mysterious fluffy white elephant and a little girl named Jordan. So something special about this book is the entire book is painted in traditional watercolor. So today I'm going to share with you my creation process of this book, how I draw the character and how I paint them in watercolor. So let's move to my art studio so I can share with you my creative process. See you guys in a little bit. Watercolor palette, brushes, clean water, pencil eraser. This is what I use to create the graphic novel. Okay, let's get started with the drawing. Um, first, we are going to sketch out the drawing that we will be coloring later. So I usually would use a erasable pencil to lightly sketch out the drawing that I'm going to color. And here I use a blue pencil. Uh, it's a blue erasable pencil and I use blue pencil because that's just my favorite pencil to use but you can use any erasable pencil or regular pencil that will be perfect as well. So take your time with this drawing step because the sketching part is very important. A nice sketch will make your coloring process a lot easier and a lot smoother. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can always erase it like I do here. And I just changed the head angle of Marshmallow because I want the head of the Marshmallow closer to Jordan so they look cuter together. And here I'm trying to draw them hugging each other because they're best bud and they always cuddle together and hug each other. Um, watercolor is a translucent medium so you want to make sure you sketch very very lightly so down the road the pencil sketch wouldn't show through the color and it would look a lot nicer and cleaner when you start coloring the drawing and for me i always uh, use the eraser to lightly lift the color of the pencil at the end after i finish the sketch so that will even make the drawing a lot lighter for coloring process. Now we can start the coloring process. Um, Marshmallow is a white elephant so he doesn't really have any color but I will add a little bit red cheek on him and some little uh, pink shade on his ear just to make him look cuter and also give him a little bit color even though he's mostly white but it's still kind of cute just to give him a little bit cheeky color. As for Jordan, uh, Jordan has beautiful suntan skin color and uh, her skin tone is a burnt sienna. So um, I usually color from light to dark and I start with marshmallow because he's colorless and then Jordan's skin, um, skin tone is kind of important so I paint her skin tone next. And uh, watercolor is transparent medium so it's better to paint from light to dark because darker color can always cover up light color but it's harder to do that the other way around so now i'm going to give jordan a yellow t-shirt uh, she's a very sporty girl and she loves to play sport with her friends so usually she will always wear comfortable clothes a sporty outfit most of the time because she can always just get ready for a good games with her friends anytime um, now I'm painting marshmallows eyes uh, the brush I use here is a size 4 brushes that's kind of a good medium size brush I use a lot um, and then um, marshmallow is white so just put a little bit shadow shade really light shade to define his shape here um, and then the next I'm going to put a little bit background color around marshmallow uh, if there's no background color we wouldn't be able to see marshmallow very well he would kind of blend into the paper color so um, I always put marshmallow behind some pretty bright color most of the time so it, it just make him pop more and look nicer in a illustration um, 
Now we are waiting for the background to dry. I'm adding Jordan's hair. By now, the skin color is already pretty dry, so I'm adding the hair color now. And be careful when you do dark color because if dark color get breathed out to the light color area, it can get messy very quick. So take your times when you do the painting process. It should be very relaxing and fun. So. Don't need to rush into it. You should just slowly and relaxingly enjoy this process. So carefully paint in Jordan's ponytail. She usually wear her hair up most of the time. And then uh, marshmallow tusks kind of give it a little bit better definition. And a little bit shadow on her shirt give it a little bit more three-dimensional look to the uh, character. And I love adding like foliage plant in the background because they live in Indonesia and it's a tropical country. Um, it's always it's one of those countries is is very rich of foliage and colorful tropical plants. So even in the book, a lot of the time you see beautiful foliage and plant in the background is because they live in a kind of a tropical paradise kind of island. So adding extra detail, uh, I, here I use a size 2 brush to do the outline and the detailing of the character. Like the eye, nose, eyebrows, etc. So do this part carefully. Um, with line art, it's always better if you draw it slowly so it'll be very precise and you can get exactly what you want. Um, and then I'm adding a little bit hair texture to her hair so it is more dimensional and feel more realistic. Have some hair line, hair strand flying out and paint her mouth with a red color. You can start seeing the character showing now much clearer. And last bit of it, outline marshmallow. He is a white elephant, so we, to help him pop the outlining is very important so we can actually see his shape otherwise he he blend into paper or even his different part of his body kind of just feel like blend into each other so the outlining part of marshmallow is very important it helped to pop him out on a, on an illustration so adding a little bit more detail line work make it more polished extra shade on the elephant here um, extra shadow on Jordan's shirt give the shirt a little bit more dimensional quality extra shadow and marshmallow's feet kind of have to show define and then the flowers so this is for decoration uh, you can draw any plants or any decoration you like for fun and usually I do all this process pretty spontaneous and a little bit detail on his nose just small touch up here and there just make it a little bit more polished to bit of touch up, touch up made a difference. Make everything a little bit more detailed and nicer looking. And last, add a heart shape on top. Extra cute. They love each other. They're best friend. And don't forget to sign your name. So just a few touch up before I wrap this up. This is pretty much finished. So just a touch up here and there. Yay, now it's done. I hope you will enjoy today's watercolor demo of Mashmira and Jordan. Um, Mashmira and Jordan's the book will be out on October 26th. If you are curious about Mashmira's inspiration, this little puppy here, my doggy Piglet, she is Mashmira's inspiration. A lot of Mashmira's personality and behavior is very much inspired by my doggy's behavior. I hope you enjoyed the book and stay tuned for more first second sketch school video. Bye! Thank you for watching!